Hey guys, here with Dr. J at Innovations Medical. We're talking about one of the more popular procedures that we focus on on Good Morning Texas, and that is the derriere. And this is really cool because this is involving fat transfer, a topic that we talk about a lot on GMT. And we want to mention some of the images that you might see in this video um, have a little brief nudity. We've got to show the body parts, That's right? right? That's right. So use your discretion when watching the video. And some of them show real fat. We're going to use a demo here, but okay. they also want to if they're a little squeezy, they might want uh, to look away during some parts of the segment, too. But it's important to see because if you're interested, it shows you exactly how effective and safe this procedure is. So, what goes into making a good behind, Dr. J? Well, the first thing you have to remember is almost everybody wants a large behind this round. Now, there are some differences, but that's what people are wanting. And some folks have different shapes that make it very difficult right. to get that ideal buttock. So one of the things we always like to talk about with folks are the shape of the buttock they have to begin with. So how do you get someone from their current shape into their improved buttocks look? Well first we look at there's, there's about three different sizes or shapes that we work with. There's a very common shape that's very flat on the bottom. On those, you want to make them rounder. Okay. And so a lot of times you have to emphasize the patient that if you want to go real big, you're going to get flat again. Mm -hmm. So if you, you kind of have to choose between being round or being flat. That's one yeah. shape. A another shape is just small. Now, those you just tend to make larger, and that's one, actually one of the easier ones to deal with. Okay. Uh, their issue is how much will the skin expand. To, that's going to dictate how big they can get with just one procedure. So someone that's really small and wants to be really large will often encourage them to plan on doing it twice because we're going to expand the skin the first time okay. and then be able to enlarge them more the second time. Okay. And then the third shape we see a lot, we call the cliff shape, which is real prominent on the top and then very flat and almost goes in on the bottom. Okay. Those folks you often have to do a combination of liposuction to lessen the cliff at the top and then fat transfer down below to get the round shape that they want. It's so cool that you can really customize this depending on what everyone's individual needs are and sometimes you couple it with something, another procedure like liposuction. Okay, so how do we actually increase the size of the buttocks? This is where the magic comes this, in. This is where the magic okay. comes in and we're going to show, we, we, this is the actual container that we collect the fat in. So this is the equivalent of two liters of fat which uh, we work with quite often that much. You'll get two liters if, uh, on most patients if you do their abdomen love handles. Uh, sometimes you get a little more, sometimes you get a little less. So we're going to use this rubber ball which uh, we put our cannula. This is our actual cannula we work with and we put it into the rubber ball. That's pretty cool. So we draw up this fat into syringes okay. and Amy as I empty these you can, put, you can give me some new ones back and then we simply inject the fat, as it were, into the rubber ball or, in our case, into the buttocks. Now, technique is really important here because what you want to do is many individual passes of about one or two cc's each. Because what we've learned I'm from a very research, slow nurse, by the way. <laughs> what, I'm getting fired. What, what, what we've learned from research <laughs> yes. is that when we keep the there you go. <laughs> that one. When we keep the fat that we're transferring right. from about at about one or two cc strips, then it can get the support from the body that it needs to survive in its new home. So folks are out there looking and they look at research prior to about 2008. Anything before about 2008 or so right. is really antiquated because no one's using those techniques anymore okay. because we've learned that in order to get good results and we can compare this to the shot from the ball previously and you can see we've made a real difference here in, in the two or three minutes we've been talking yeah. in the size of the ball. It's the same thing that we do as we're injecting using those multiple injections <laughs> on the buttocks. Did it come off? I'm fired as a nurse. This is it. There's my career down the tubes. I think we got it. Though. Okay. And I got you another one. All right. So 
we've seen the difference in the ball already. Right. Again, this is your own fat, which is the cool thing. It's going to be taken from an area you didn't want it in the first place and added to the area that you want the dairy air for that volume. So where are we taking it from? Well, we can take it from anywhere there's enough fat to justify doing liposuction. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm real... I lean strongly towards doing the love handles okay. whenever you're doing the buttocks because the when you shape here, you're shaping how the buttocks look from front to back. And when you are shaping with the injections, you're shaping how the buttocks look from side to side. Okay. So that I, if you do, if part of what you're doing is love handles or this part, the lower part of, the, of your flanks, that really helps enhance the results we get okay. from fat transfer to the buttocks. Because yeah, you're really an artist when you're doing this, Dr. J. So you want everything to be aesthetically pleasing. So it makes sense if you're going to take fat, shape the whole look. Sh shape the whole look. That's like exactly that. what we're looking for. Okay. So, but we can do arms, we can do thighs, we can do wherever we need to get the fat. All right. So what's the big takeaway for fat transfer today when enhancing your the, the big take away on fat transfer for people that are looking to enhance their bottom is you've got basically two options. You've got implants mm -hmm. and you've got fat. Mm -hmm. The advantage of fat is it looks and feels normal and you'll never have a sensation of sitting on a foreign body or sitting on a pillow. Uh, fat but implants have never really taken off like breast implants have because most people never lose the sensation that they're sitting on a pillow. Mm -hmm. So they've just not ever been become as popular as doing fat transfer. Yeah, using something that you're in your own body, from your own body, seems like a better option for everybody. And this is a cool demo. Okay, thanks Dr. J.